Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to remove duplicate lines using Notepad++. So if you're not aware, Notepad++ is a fantastic text editor, especially so if you're a coder. So I'd fully recommend it. And as such, what I'll do is I will leave a link to download it or a link to the website in the description. And with that said, let's have a look at how to remove duplicate lines using Notepad++. So I've got some data here. I'm just going to copy the first names from, uh, this is just some test data, by the way. So I'm just going to copy the first names from the employees table. And I know for a fact that we've got some duplicates in here. So let's load up Notepad++. I'm going to paste it in. So what I can tell you is there's three duplicates here. Um, I know that because actually I, uh, I've used Excel. So if you've got Excel, you could do the same thing. You know, you just paste the values in. We've got 40, 40 rows, data, remove duplicates. Okay, we found three duplicates. We've now got 37 values. Now, the problem is not everybody has Microsoft Excel, right? And so if you don't have Microsoft Excel, if you don't have Microsoft Office, but you do have Notepad++, this is how you do it. So the only reason I showed you in Excel is because I just wanted to verify that we will be removing three values and we'll be left with 37. Okay, so just a little bit of uh, verification there. So what you want to do is you don't even have to select the data. Okay, it's just gonna it's just gonna operate this uh, action on the lines within the text file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Edit. We're gonna go highlight line operations. And then let's see if I can find it. Okay, remove duplicate lines. It's the second item on the menu. So let's remove duplicate lines. And as you can see, it's done what it needed to do, but unlike Excel, it didn't tell us what it did. Okay, but we can now see that at the bottom here we have 37. And so if I go to edit, undo, we'll see that the line number is 40. So let's go edit, redo again. And now we are left with. 37 items instead of 40. And of course, then if you want to, you can go ahead and go edit line operations and then you can uh, sort lines in ascending order, for example. So we've got a nice, clear, concise list with no duplicates in ascending order. This is the sort of thing, because I work with data quite often. Um, this is the sort of thing I use all the time. I think it could come in useful for you guys too. So if you did find it useful, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see similar content to this in the future, why not consider subscribing if you haven't already? It really helps support the channel and it will definitely make my day. And with that said, take care everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day.